Hey folks, I just downloaded this new plugin here called Ripple Delay by Process Audio. And I have some thoughts about it I want to share with you and also about Bitwig Studio in the end. And this is not a tutorial, so I don't explain what's in the manual, right? I don't explain every parameter, like here, this is the drive knob. And if you turn up the drive to 100, then it's loud. When you turn it down, then it's quiet. And when you put it on 50%, then it's not quiet and not loud. So it's in the middle. And sometimes you have to put it on 50 and so on. So it's not that kind of tutorial. There are probably a lot of videos popping up over the next weeks doing this. Um, I want to experiment with this because we can go down here with a delay time to one milliseconds and this is interesting because you can uh, use this as a resonator right and here we have um a polymer synthesizer down there and just turning up the noise and creating some kind of noise burst so it's just white noise going into um, this delay here so when we turn up the feedback we can create some kind of resonator And because it's fe a feedback loop, uh, we can change with the delay time here the wavelength, right? So we have here now a wavelength of one millisecond, basically. So it's creating some kind of sound. And with the delay time, then you can decide about the pitch. Okay, so nothing special so far. Uh, but in this plugin, we can use here postfx, right? So we can say we want to have at the end, let's say, an EQ. Yeah, let's on not, let's not use an EQ, use a filter. So we have a filter here, right? So we can uh, high cut and we can low cut. So this is postfx. So we go into the delay, then we go into the feedback, create our feedback loop, and then we go out into the postfx. But with this plugin, we can choose here this loop setting and can say we want to integrate this filter inside of the loop uh, in the feedback loop right so instead of going into the feedback here and then out in the post fx this one here is now integrated inside of the feedback loop so the sound go uh, is going out into the filter and then back into the feedback again and again and again right so this then changes the sound over time so let's listen to this one So we damp near the frequencies a bit. And because we are filtering here a lot of frequencies away, we also go down with the volume, of course. So we need to increase here the feedback a bit more. So nice, we can create sounds with this, uh, but we also can uh, use your more FX. So we can use, let's say, flanger, phaser, chorus. Let's use chorus or not chorus. Um, let's use a phaser maybe here we can change the amount. We can also integrate this into the feedback loop and maybe in front, uh, can we change this here? Yeah, in front of the filter. So let's try this one. And maybe let's add here a peak limit. Oh, we have a peak limit already in place. Nice. I would say the phaser maybe changes the sound too much, so we can't build up here some kind of feedback. Oh, there it goes. So instead of phaser, let's use here ensemble, maybe? Also in front. Let's use here a different um, delay method. Maybe let's go to tape. 
the tape is a bit wobbly, you can hear it, it wobbles a bit in pitch. So let's try and add here pitch. So we can change the pitch. Uh, that's seven amount of zero. And remember, if you change the sound too much inside of the feedback loop, you can't build up some kind of feedback. So you need to only dial in slide settings here. This is outside here. Yeah. Let's put this in there. And then you can use your maybe a Valhalla uh, super massive at the end. And then it gets more atmospheric. And we could, even after this ripple delay, we can use here some kind of pitch correction plugin. Say we want to limit this to a certain range here. Let's see how this sounds. like creating soundscapes with this so feedback is always fun no matter where you use it or where you create it um, and the question now is can we do this in Bitwig Studio and the answer is yes we can but the problem is as always um, you are limited by the buffer size, right? If you go here into the settings, um, then you have here some kind of uh, block size, and for me it's 10 milliseconds. So my minim minimum delay time is 10 milliseconds in the grid or with the delay plus. Delay plus can go as low as one millisecond or even lower if there is nothing in the feedback chain. And as soon as you put something in the feedback chain, um, you jump you jump basically to this buffer size, which is a bit sad because you can do so many things here with feedback. It's really fun to play around with this here. I'm still on the trial version here. So the special feature of this plugin is the combination of that you can put something in the feedback loop. Um, so you can put FX into the feedback loop and you can go lower than uh, 10 milliseconds here, yeah, right? So I'm not limited by the sample uh, rate or the buffer size in my DAW. So that's the, that's the big feature set. And in my opinion, more plugins should experiment here with feedback because feedback is such an interesting concept. Um, it's also used in um, w with video effects uh, where you have feedback loop uh, at some place. You can create many, many interesting sounds with this. And in my opinion, Bitwig should update Bitwig or the delays of Bitwig Studio to make actually use of this. I can show you this here in the, in the grid. FX grid. Um, right, so we can create then here a long delay, go into the long delay and then use a blend. And then 
blends together. Maybe use an amp here. Right. And then we choose here a very short delay time, 0 0.02 milliseconds. Our, this is wrong. That's not true, right? It's limited by the buffer size. In here it doesn't sound it doesn't change it stays at one at at, t at 10 milliseconds that's the lowest size uh, but we can also include here let's say a filter um all pass yeah we can choose an all pass here why not all pass maybe um Uh, no feedback here. I mean, 10 milliseconds is still okay for certain sounds. That's too fast. And sometimes very hard to find it uh, perfect. So you need to find the sweet spot here for the uh, feedback, of course. Uh, maybe the amplify, uh, amplifier is not the right uh, thing. Maybe I used to use, uh, use here the gain thing. But you get the idea, right? So we could do this in Bitwig. And the only problem is it's limited by the buffer size, right? So here you can go always to one milliseconds, no matter what buffer size you have in the DAW. Um, so this is basically the, the benefit of using this plugin at the moment. I hope Bitwig Studio updates this in the future. Um, but I talked about this uh, in many videos for some years now, and I hope we get it at some point. But for now, you have to use plugins like this to create these type of sounds, okay? So that's it for this video. I want to show you this here um, that you can try it out. Uh, there's a trial version here of this plugin on the website. So uh, you need also have iLog, uh, which I don't like, but it is how it is. Um, and it's free for 30 days. Okay, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. Bye.